Okay, here's another little video. Um, I've got a customer who has a Z21 and he has uh, N-Gage Locos. Uh, he's running Lens Silver Mini Chips. Um, and he would like to be able to control the braking of the loco using their asymmetric braking. So at present this loco is set up um, with the decoder. Um, just a six pin decoder like this. Um, it is still at factory settings, I haven't changed any of the CVs yet. So um, here's the loco in, in the Z21 app. Um, now this little device here is a uh, asymmetric brake generator. Um, so we have DCC current that comes in um, and it goes to this toggle switch. If this toggle switch is set to manual as it is now, both of the outputs A, B and C, D are DCC current. So um, whichever output you plug the wires into, in this mode, in manual mode, the loco will drive. So I will show you this. Okay, so the loco, the loco is moving. Okay, and because it's a lens, it's very good. Now, if I was to put uh, this into auto, there's now asymmetric current running through here, not just DCC. And as you can see. The loco is still driving, so it's a little test track, so there's a bit of a bump there. Um, if I then change direction of the loco, he drives back the other way. Now, it's not the, the chip isn't noticing this asymmetric current at the moment. It's still it's, it's just driving, all right. It, as you can see, it's still moving. Anyway, let's stop the loco. Now I've actually, well I'll put this back to manual a minute so we know it's DCC power coming through. Um, now on the Z21 I've got this plugged into the program track, okay. So if we just go back to the um, control settings and we go to CV programming and in, in the manual um, here under CV51 uh, um, this is brake configuration, okay. Now there's different things you can choose. Um, constant brake distance, so it always keeps the same distance, and you can set the speed at which that works. Um, or just ABC activated, that's the one we want. Um, there's also some other ones here, so you can do um, a push-pull uh, shuttle operation. Um, you can just use two little asymmetric BM1 modules, and if you activate, if you activate this, then it will go past where the module is, slow and stop. You can set how long it stops for, it changes direction and it goes back the other way and if you had another BM1 at the other end, it would then just shuttle, okay? Anyway, we're interested in just making it break, so ABC activated is what we want. So at present in CV51, if we read it back, it should say zero because uh, zero is the default value. So in here. We will put in CV51 and I'll press read and it should say zero, which it does, okay? We'll get rid of that. Now we want a value. This is very like CV29, it's got different bits. So we want bit two. Um, so the value of bit one is one, the value of bit two is two. So we only want that hour unactivated, so we only put in a value of two. So in here, put in a value of two and we press program and it's programmed okay so now we can get back to the driving screen and the only thing we've changed is that CV in that loco okay um, now with this function um, it only breaks in one direction of travel so if we start the loco driving and he's going the wrong way so let's change direction he drives off and if I put the toggle switch to auto he doesn't stop look he keeps going he's still driving if I then turn the toggle switch to manual again and I change the direction of travel he goes back the other way then when I put the asymmetric current down the loco stops so it only stops in one direction of tra travel this is what they call asymmetric braking so if you had a section in front of a signal 
and you wanted it whilst red, the section in front of the signal to have asymmetric braking, the loco would come into that section and slow and stop using CVs three and four. So it would slow down with the deceleration rate. And, it would, and then once then the signal went to green, so if you flick this back to say, now the signal's green, he drives away. And if I then put it again to red, he stops. This is asymmetric braking. It can be used in all sorts of ways. Um, other decoders do have it, ESU, um, uh, Zemo, CT Electronic, do have asymmetric braking. This is a very smooth way of braking and it works very well as you can see. I hope this has been useful. Um, as you can see, the, the Loco is still driving, but he is still stationary. Um, you can, whilst it's stationary, give it a, a change in speed command. And then the next time he drives off, he will go at that slower speed. Anyway, hope this was helpful. This is James, DCC Train Automation. Thanks a lot.